Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I've got this adorable Love You to Pieces gift bag. And this is project number two out of three for the Stampin' Bingo in my Chicago area home stamping studio. So we got just two spots left in today's the last day to register. So if you're interested in playing bingo with us on May 24th, you live in the Chicago area, you're an adult stamper, reach out and RSVP with your $30 payment and you can join us for bingo. Bingo's fun, we're gonna pay, play four games of bingo, make three crafty projects, two bingo cards are included, one bag of awesome 2019-2021 in color swag is everybody's who attends and we just have a really good fun night. Six o'clock, May 24th, this is project number two. Let's get down to it. We're gonna make this awesome little gift bag. Okay, so the supplies that you need to make this gift bag include the retiring Stampin' Up! gift bag punch board. It is on the retirement list and available while supplies last. We've got the Love You Two Pieces bundle. Now, when Stampin' Up! introduces a product, in its first publication, if there's coordinating products like Love You to Pieces, Stamp Set, and the Puzzle Pieces Thinlets, they coordinate, Stampin' Up! offers a 10% bundle discount. So, Love You to Pieces is carrying over into the next catalog, but the bundle discount is not. So this is your reminder to check your catalogs, check your wish lists, and if there are products that you want and you love that still have a bundle discount, grab them up while you can. I'm going to use this little heart puzzle die. So there's three dies in this collection. We're going to use this little heart puzzle. I love this little like four inch square puzzle. And then we're going to use this framelit for cutting our puzzle pieces. I've got my tailor tag punch. We're going to use that for dovetailing the end of the banner there. I've got some, let's see here ink pads. The ink for this project is Crumb Cake and Coastal Cabana. The consumable supplies and embellishments for this project include some basic rhinestones. I've got nine and a half inches of very vanilla tool trim. This is the polka dot tool trim. This is retiring. You can get those while, that while supplies last the braided linen trim. This is about six inches of braided linen trim. I have some cardstock here. The Chrome Cake cardstock is six by 10. I've got a scrap of Calypso Coral and you need about a two and a half inch square. That's for die cutting our puzzle piece. Scrap of Whisper White, about four and a half by one and three quarters for stamping our puzzle pieces. The Designer Series Paper is from the brand new Bird Ballad Designer Series Paper Collection. And that is one and a half by four and a half. Don't worry, measurements are on the project sheet. You can just follow along um, with the video, print off the project sheet. No need to take down the measurements. And I've also got some white tissue paper for inside of my gift bag. Let's get started with our gift bag punch board and our crumb cake cardstock. I love this gift bag punch board. I'm gonna start at the start line, super simple. This is your start line. Grab your little bone folder that's included. And the first thing that you're gonna do is score at the small line and then horizontal. Now at this point, I like to go ahead and back up my paper so that I'm all the way at the edge here. My, that line I just scored is off the edge and I like to horizontal so that you can get that piece that was underneath the punch and you have a complete horizontal score here. So you got your horizontal, your small, then you're going to slide your paper. Before you slide, you wanna punch. You're gonna punch your paper and then slide that score down to the start line. Now you're going to score your triangle and the gusset line and the side two line and punch. 
slide your side two line to the start line. You're going to score small again. You're going to score horizontal and then punch. Small line right here. Slide to the start line right here. And then you're going to score your triangle, your gusset, and your side two line. Punch. Don't forget your horizontal. Then slide to the start line. This is your side two line right here. Line it up with the start line. Punch. And I missed a little piece of horizontal here, so I'm going to just slide this dude right back in and get that little section of horizontal that I missed. So there's your gift bag. The punch board makes it so easy. Uh, we need a bone folder and we're going to just work these creases with the bone folder. And take your paper snips here and cut out this tab at an angle and then cut this dude right here corner off at an angle. Now we can work these bottom tabs with the bone folder. Alright, so we've worked all of our score lines. Let's clear away all the excess that we've cut away. And we're going to put this little tool right back in there. We don't want to lose that. Tear and tape now. We're going to line some tear and tape down this glue tab. So that's the back of our bag. You see that? Which means this tab is going to go down first. So we're going to add a little bit of tear and tape here. And then, so that tabs, side tabs will go in, back tab will go down, then the front tab will go back. You see how that works? So we can add a little tear and tape here. All right, so this is how it looks. And then there's a little tear and tape here. All right, now before we actually put our bag together, let's go ahead and gently work this little gusset fold. I like to bring a triangle in and crease back that center of the gusset. See how that works? We'll do the same thing here. Pull the center of the gusset back while we're pushing the triangle piece forward. We just want to soften these a little bit before the bag is stable. Alright, so that's what everything looks like. This is the front of our bag. Now we want to go ahead and stamp on the front of our bag before we close it up. And I've got crumb cake and the little heart image from the stamp set. I'm gonna mask off the front of my bag here with some scratch paper. Then I'm gonna take my hearts and stamp repeatedly across the front. Now you'll notice that I go in kind of a diagonal sweep. So that's what we're aiming for here. Kind of wide at the bottom, turning the little image each time, stamping off the edge. And then up in the upper right corner I'm going to move it in and down towards the... Now you don't have to do entirely across because your designer series paper is going to cover up the center. I might want to go here too. Alright, so there's our crumb cake. Now we can go ahead and 
assemble our bag and to assemble the bag you're going to peel the release on the tab here and bring it in peel the little pieces from the inside those guys are next you're going to make the corner of your bag by bringing the edge to the fold and lining up the corners. Then you'll bring the sides in, the bottom down, and keep it nice and square here, and if you like. Before you peel that other release, you can make sure that those tabs grab that tear and tape by using the end of your bone folder to burnish. Make sure everything stayed nice and square. Fill the release on the tear and tape and bring top flap down. And again, from the inside of the bag, you can kind of burnish the tabs. So there's your little gift bag. All done, how cute is that? All right, let's set that aside for just a second. And I've got some Whisper White, a little more Stampin', Coastal Cabana Stampin' Pad. Don't believe how quick this little project is. I'm gonna do Love You, Coastal Cabana. Make sure you ink up good. You want a real solid image. And then two pieces. Let's get the big shot and do some die cutting. I'll set up for die cutting here. It's going to take two passes through the machine. We're going to do our puzzle and one of our pieces. Okay, there's our love you piece. Our little puzzle. Look how cute this is. little four pieces and they go back together to make the heart. One more time for the other puzzle piece here. Okay, die cutting's done. Let's decorate. I've got my Bird Ballad Designer Series paper, my tailored tag punch. I'm going to cut a little dovetail end. Grab some dry adhesive. Cut it about a quarter of an inch from the right fold. How sweet is that? About nine and a half inches of the tool ribbon here. I'm gonna just fold that up. And we can grab a glue dot or some tear and tape, a little fast fuse. We're gonna just a little tab there to grab that ribbon and hold it in place for us. Now, our Love You two pieces need some dimensionals. That tie a tiny little braided linen thread bow here. Just want a little cutie to embellish, not to steal the show. I'm gonna trim the tails. Pop it up on a glue dot so it's ready for us to embellish. Now for my heart puzzle, what I like to do is grab a little piece of um, type beam paper, a little piece of copy paper, cover it with some adhesive, dry adhesive, and then I'm going to reassemble my puzzle on that adhesive. So then we have one piece to bring to the project instead of four pieces to juggle. There it is. <laughs> a little puzzle to put together. 
I'm going to put Stampin' Dimensionals on the back here. Our Love You to Pieces pieces are all sticky. We're going to add to pieces and then Love You so that it connects, almost connects right in there. Burnish those down. Back to our cutie little bow. Add that underneath with the glue dot. And now last, we got a couple of little basic rhinestones. There it is, how cute is that? All right, so I've got a piece of tissue paper here and I cut it down so that it wasn't quite as long. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it in half and cut it down this way too. Cause a full sheet of tissue paper is just too big for this cute little gift bag. They're using probably a little more than half is sufficient can wrap your little gift in the tissue paper and then tuck it in the bag. All right, that's it. Project number two for bingo with the gift bag punch board. It's retiring and available while supplies last. Don't forget to grab your bundle discount on the Love You to Pieces stamp set when you bundle it up with the puzzle pieces thinlets. Got to get on that deal before June 3rd. All right, if you've got questions about bingo, about Chicago area Stampin' Up! events, um, the retirement list, if there's anything I can do to help you stay crafty, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.